Hey guys, welcome back to the Grand Prix finale, right? It is the Free Skates Grand Prix final preview. I'm just gonna let you know when I do this, shut up. Well, and if I do this, shut up. If I grab it, okay, my dog thinks it's a freaking game right now, okay? Go let on. Okay, so let's get into this thing hey. now that we had our little fun. Let's get into the disciplines here. Okay, we're gonna start off with one the second men. again. Dogs oh out. God. Oh, they think it's a oh, game. They think it's the dog's toy. No, on your couch. Oh my god. Sorry, we have people in the background. Okay. So hey. top six, we have coming in to the men's Grand Prix final. We have Boyang Jin from China. Kevin Amos, France, Dmitry Aliyev, Russia, Alexander Samarin, Russia, Nathan Jen, United States, and of course, number one, Yuzuru Hanyu from Japan. And um, they're, you know what? Between third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, their overall final scores are very close from their their top um, top scores this year. So Boyang Jin comes in with 273, Kevin Amos 259, Dimitri Aliyev 262, Alexander Samar 269, and then there's a separation between Nathan and Yuzura 299 and 322. So obviously first and second you would think are going to be a lock between right. Yuzura and, and Nathan. Um, I get the hunch that Yuzura is going to take the gold. Um, I just don't think Nathan quite has the double program this year to, to take over Yuzura, but... I mean, stranger things have happened. But... Well, in the men's field, it all comes down to who's doing the quads and who ain't, and meaning that yeah. landing them. Well, right. And um, that's going to be the bronze medal. Whoever lands those jumps is going to win the bronze medal. Basically, Han, who's been lights out this season, he looks back to normal. He doesn't look like he has any injuries, and he's hitting everything with spectacular numbers to great skating to, you know, great jumping. And his technical and his program is just off the charts. So. Honestly, it's probably going to be very hard for Nathan Chen to compete with him if he's clearly competing the way he's been playing, uh, competing in the last two Grand Prix. So, I mean, I just, I don't see the program. And for me personally, anyway, I don't see Chen having a program the way Hany does. And there's just no one that commands the ice like Hany does. So, yeah, um, I agree. I'll take him as number one and I'll take Chen as number two. Uh, yeah, I got the same number one and two as you. So number three, though, that's going to be between Samar and Ali of Amos and Jin. Who's going to be your number three? I have Kevin Amos. Um, I know I'm taking a big risk, but I've taken him because I really like his skating this year. Um, his program has been actually floored me because I've been, I was kind of like, I didn't really know too much of him because I haven't really watched him that much. But him, I really liked what I've seen out of him this year. I think he does very in, oh, God, not that innovative. Working. Innovative. Uh, moves on the ice and just different things you do not see from any other skater, which I think is good because that, you know, makes him here and everyone else, you know, in right. this little pocket. So he's, he's on his own. He's definitely a fan favorite for skating for sure. That's an interesting pick for number three. Um, I don't have him for number three. I think I'm going to have uh, Boyan Jin coming in for number three. I think he's going to have uh, put, finally put together two two good performances, and I think he's going to leak those those Russians. I just uh, find that his consistency this year, Boyan, unfortunately for me, it's just not there. Right. It hasn't been there last year. Either. Well, I'm hoping, just for my sake, and getting that bronze medal. Uh, it's it's open, though. Honestly, yeah. you can make a case for <laughs> any of the Well, he does four, have the so. third best score this year, so... There's that too. So. Yeah, there you go. And that hasn't been saying much about the men's field, unfortunately. Like, right. you guys showed up Umu's not even in this. Like, what? I know. Poor Shoma this year. Oh, that poor guy. He just had a rough year. Just so many falls, and his falls are so hard. Oh, pains me to even watch his programs again. Um, so, and also, in the next few days uh, leading up to the Grand Prix Final, somebody does get injured. The first alternate is Nam Nguyen of Canada. Oh, I thought it was Robert Sadowski. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's see, um, you know what, maybe at the Grand Prix Final, um, you know what, Yuzuru was very close to breaking Nathan Chen's world record, um, 323, I think it was 322 point, what is it here, 322.59, that's just off of the 323.42 that Chen's world record is, so maybe there might be some, uh, world record breakage. All right, so. Okay, so let's go on to the ladies. Okay, we're going to really time you on this one because I know you've got a lot to say about the ladies. So, <laughs> we have the top six here. In sixth place, squeaking into the Grand Prix Final, we have Brady Tunnell. 
Fifth place, Elena Zagitova. Fourth place, Rika Kahira. Third place, Shervakova. Second place, Trisova. And first place, Kosternaya. Um, that's a stacked Russian field. Um, what is can... it, four of them? Four to the six are Russian? Yep, four to the six are Russian. That's crazy. Um, first substitute is Satoko Miyahara, if one of those get injured. Um, what do you think for... Let's... Well, for number one, for me, I'm going to go with Costa I just think she's been the consistency out of any of the ladies this year. I think she's got the speed, the program, the technical ability again. She has all that in her bag of tricks. Um, I also think she's very confident on the ice. You literally do not see her look timid or look shaken by anything. I think she goes out there knowing. It, it's like she jumps like this all the time. Like You never feel threatened that she's going to like fall when she jumps. She's just so confident in her jumping. And I mean, her jumps are massive. I, I Honestly, I don't think I've seen right. a lady that big of a jump. It's ridiculous. And you know what? One of the biggest differences of, of her skating is to versus, let's say, Tristova is Kostanai has the program to back it up. Kostanai's right. program is actually, she's she deserves those scores she's getting. And can I quickly say, um, Caitlin Osmond went on and was talking here in Canada about, um, you know, about the whole technical and the program marks like I've been talking about for the last few um, videos here. Um, she basically kind of repeating the same thing. She's And here's the thing. It's like, she's trying to say that, you know, in figure skating, you can't take out the artistry because, so what she meaning like, yes, the technical is fine of giving these, you know, competitors these big marks, mm -hmm. but you have to separate that component to the artistry of the program. <coughs> the program is a complete different tool, complete different, you know, um, just complete different box of things to check. Not jumping. It's, you gotta have the speed, you gotta have the edge work, the skating skills, the character, you gotta have it all. And, you, clearly, there's been a very mixed reaction with Trusova this year yeah. because she's getting first and she's getting these huge numbers that... I don't think anybody, you know, has a problem with her getting her big marks in her technical. Like, she really does deserve it. She is getting a little help, though, from the judges. She's not landing everything perfect, and things are getting under-rotated or, you know, not on the right edge, and she is getting those calls. So, I'm just saying they're giving her her marks, you know, very nicely. But they need to be a lot more stricter on the program, artistry, because, I'm sorry, it's just a jumping thing, and it looks boring to me. So, again, as we know that, we're not going to get right into it, but that's the problem. And I think Kilan Osman says that's where we got to get to in figure skating now. Because if we all did jumps and, you know, we just, you know, skated and did our thing and, you know, this and that, then you don't really have a difference of skaters. That's what makes figure skating, right? A, right. Different, pers a different personality doing different talents as well. Like, it's not just talent to jump. It's talent to skate. It's talent to be able to do these... Edge works, one foot skating, and pulling off looking like a character, and being in character, and doing what your program is, which is the music. And so, I mean, that's why we're trying to see there's different, right. you know, program and different for um, technical. So let's get that out of the way. I will take Costa Rica. I just think she is the most consistent. <clears throat> okay, and see, for my first place, I'm going to take Chisova only because of the way she's been marked this year. Um, I feel like she could be sixth place after the short program because um, she's. She's going to be behind. After the short program, she's going to be behind, period. Because she doesn't have those quads and she doesn't have the PCS to back up. And she doesn't have triple axle and you can't right. use a quad in the woman's right. short. Correct. So so that's going to play to her disadvantage. However, she's got so much of that uh, technical content in the free skate that I think she is going to have enough to vault over everyone else. Especially if she's clean, she's going to win, period. So I have Trusova for uh, first place. Um, I, don't think so. I, I don't, don't think it's that clear that she'll win that easy, I though. think it will because you know what I feel like the judges have overscored her PCS so much this year I don't think she's got a chance to really well, that's lose true. it to be honest with you in my opinion I think her PCS should be no more than a 58-59 to be quite honest with you and she's getting 67s so um, I think she is heavily she overscored. had a 69 and a 67 oh, she had a or 69. 66 or oh, something okay. see I think that's heavily overscored so oh. So that's okay. So and for that, so my second place will be Costa Naya. I think she's it's going to be close, but I don't think that she's going to actually uh, scrape that. For me, that second point. I took Rika Kahara. I just think that oh, she's been consistent really? and she's got two triple axles in there. And I think that if she can skate clean, she has the advantage in the short 
to really do damage towards Drasova, and then she can land those um, two triple axles she has in her long. She could put on some pressure, so because she's got the skating as well, they give her good PCS. Yeah. So we'll see, but I'll take her out as number two. Um, my number three for bronze medal is going to be Brady Tanell. I'm gonna slip her into the bronze medal because of her consistency. In the last few years, she's been very consistent and she's performed under pressure. Um, I think the rest of the ladies, including Kahira, Shabrakova, um, and Zagidova, have had a lot of trouble with consistency this year. Um, and I think Tanel's gonna pull it out and she's going to win a bronze medal. And for me, number three, I'll take Tosova and only because, like, well, she has her technical life is really great, but um, just because, you know, they're giving her PCS points. And <laughs> well, I don't know how you can't take anyone else because they're giving her right. free marks. So. Yeah. Um, Zagida, <clears throat> unfortunately for me, um, she's just, she's getting overscored in PCS for me too. Unfortunately this year, um, she's very slow. She, I don't know what's, I don't like her long program. It's slow. There's no oomph to it. It's boring. It seems lifeless. And see, I am going to agree with that for her. And I like her. Well. That's. I, I've really come to like her a little bit more, but this program's terrible, so I know like whose all. program I also... I'm not a huge fan of Rika's free skate. Mm. I... I don't know. I just... There's something about it that with that whole James Bond kind of thing and her skating the way she does it, I don't I don't know. I just doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't grasp me. He's gonna buzz me. I talked about... And I will take my Vedava for, like... She's just in it. my favorite. Oh, okay. She's not even an alternate. I know. Sheesh. But she can come in. She had um, a bad first one. <clears throat> Before we go away from the ladies, we did pick our picks. However, what we did not do is... We didn't talk about a Russian sweep. Because there's four out of the six Russians. What do you think the chances are of having a Russian sweep? Highly. Very yeah. highly. <laughs> yeah. So you think Sherbakova could squeak in there for medal two? Yeah, I do. Because if Rikikar does not do her triple axles, she's in trouble. So um, that's where it's going to come down to. Yeah, I... I it's very highly... <clears throat> and you know what? You also... You can't... You can't run out uh, Zagidova as well from this. So let's face it. She is yeah. a world and Olympic champion. Yeah. Or Olympic champion. She's been very consistent with her jumping. Like, pretty consistent this year. It's just... I don't really like her program. Like, it's boring. She's had some trouble with the uh, tail end of her combos sometimes. That, that, yeah. that, that triple loop at the end yeah. of uh, her jumps has been a little bit uh, off this year. Um, okay. Okay. So let's go on to... Of course pairs. that was going to be longer. <clears throat> okay, pairs. Um, your favorite category. Okay, so first place for me, I don't even know who's in it. <laughs> Wang and Sui. That's close. Sui and Hong. That's right. So we have, Guys, that's pretty good. We have... Uh, I said, what did I say? Wang and Sui. Yeah. <laughs> um, we funny. have Kavlachenko and Korkin of Russia in sixth place. More Towers Marinara from Canada in fifth place. Uh, Machina and Galimov of Russia in fourth place. Peng and Jin of China in third place. Bokova Kovzlovsky Russia second place. And Sui and Han from China. I'll well, take the Russian place. second and third. I will take um, whoever. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so... Sui and Han, I think, are going to totally smash the field. It's not even going to be close. Like, they're so far ahead of everyone else in the pairs, it's not even funny. Uh, second place, they will stick with Boykova and Kovzlovsky. They are, I'll say this again, I think they're going to be Olympic champions one day. I think they're that good. They're so young and they're so new and they are so good um, from where they're so difficult for a pairs team to come in and and own like that and you know what also who was on their way up to is machina and uh Galimov. i don't have them for a medal for this event however um they they are very impressive they're a very new couple coming into this and i think for them to be making it the grand prix final the first senior year is super fantastic for them That's third place ryan's gonna take marinara sauce and her partner I'm taking marinero sauce, <laughs> marinero sauce, and more towers. Yeah, that's it, more towers. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pick the Canadians for third. They've been pretty consistent this Told year. Um, I don't. Think I really like their programs. I really like their programs. What I do want to see them 
eventually. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen because they've been around for so long, but I want to see their twists and their throws bigger, higher, and longer. Just a quick question for, you know, and maybe can ask for the people out there also. Do we have any good, like, Canadians who are young coming up for Paris? That is not them? Or are we kind of, like, at a standstill um, right now? Because I haven't seen any. Well, we're going to have to see how um, uh, Caitlin Osmond's boyfriend and partner do. Um, Who's that? Evelyn Walsh and Trent showed, um, and uh, that other pair, uh, Andrew Wolf and. Um, okay, so basically, you guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not looking good. <laughs> so next, yeah. the next Olympic cycle might be a little bit rough for Canada pairs. Um, and so for third place, oh yeah, I already said third place. What yeah. are you doing for third place? I didn't know. Oh, you're just. I gave them a whatever. Okay. <laughs> You know what I think the most surprising of this is, is that the... I'll uh, probably take the other Chinese. Previous world champions, the Trasov and Morozov, are of the event. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. But honestly, you haven't been liking them for two years, so... I like them better this year than they were at the Olympics, that Candyman program. Oh, Lord, help them. (laughs) Okay, so, for next, last one, Um, is the Ice Dance. Ice Dance... We have Madison Chalk and Evan Bates, Egyptian free dance. Alexandra Stepanova and Ivan Bukin of Russia, fifth place. Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue of the United States for fourth place. Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier come in at third place. Victoria Sinatina and Nikita Katsalapov are second place. And obviously the French Pop Ducks is wrong about first place. So, so for first place, I'm definitely First place gonna is take... going to be um, Hubble and Donahue. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously it's going to be Pop Ducks. Okay, I was going to do that, but you stole it, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Because you were in debt. So, no, first place, clearly the French. Even though we both agree that we do not think they're that far from all these other competitors. I'm sorry. I just don't see a 20-point gap. 20-plus <clears throat> point yeah, gap. Yeah, okay, like, let's get something real. I mean, yes, they deserve to win gold, and they're going to win gold and whatever, but they don't need to be winning the field by 20 points. It's not necessary. I don't yeah, think, I'm sorry. I don't think Sassina and Katzal, Paul Gillis and Poirier, Hub, Chalk and Bates, and Hubble and Donnie. Like, they're not... Are, like, further than 20 points. Right, games. it's like, like, it's almost like it's like they're... Making it like here's a senior and here's a bunch of twelve year olds. Like six difference. like six or eight points I could see. But like it's getting on to twenty points. Yeah, like, like I'm sorry, on. but that it it really honestly hurts the like, sport when you do things. And I'm like sorry, that. it's ice dance. You're not throwing in a quad. Right, like exactly. Like, I don't even understand. Like right, are right. your ge- like are their GOEs so far ahead in every single element of everyone? Well, have you understood done? anything about this ISU judging lately? Because well, I haven't. I want to be a judge. How do you become an ISU judge? I don't know, but next. Okay, so second place. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my track. Uh, second place, I will pick the Russian Sinitsina Kapsalopov. Uh, I think they have a slight edge over the rest of the teams. It's a close edge, but I think they're going to take that second place by about two to three points over third place. Wait, who are the people again? And it's in a Katsalopov, Gillis and Poirier, Hubble and Don Hughes. Oh, board. the Russians were second. Yeah. second. yeah, I agree with the Russian second. And I'm taking only because, like, I just want it in my heart hurts. I don't know if they'll win. But my, my heart wants Chalk and Bates for third. Because I love that snake performance. And I'm sort of, like, things like that. And, like, anybody, you could pick somebody who doesn't watch figure skating, doesn't do a thing, and just sit them down and watch TV, or watch figure skating in the event. You would not, they would not be, like, blown away from the Frenches to Chalk and Bates. Okay. Oh, he's annoying. So anyways, what I was trying to say is Chalk and Bates, like, if you sat somebody who just watched the the event. Okay, just go. I I agree, though. Chalk and Bates is fantastic. I love their free dance. It is so good. It's so hard to do what they're doing in their free dance. Um, I think I think it's definitely deserving of a medal for sure. Um, I think it's going to come down to Chalk and Bates and Gillis and Poirier for that bronze medal. I think they're going to be very close. Um, I do think... I think Gillis and Poirier's rhythm dance is slightly underscored. I'm not sure why they're usually so behind after the rhythm dance, but I find in the free dance, their free dance is so well received this year by the judges that they have... Uh, vaulted over a few other teams ahead of them uh, to 
get into their like as they're in the grand prix final in third place that's because of their their free dance i really really like the rhythm dance i hope they figure out their levels and i hope they figure out uh to stay close or ahead going into the free dance and i think that's going to give them the third place so i'm going to pick gillis and poirier for third place um on the hopefulness that they figure out their rhythm dance and for all the people out there that get that go on me and like oh you're about canada i am the least one out of us that isn't cheers canada that's not true. that I have anything against Canada. It's just I look at I don't look at like whose nationality or country. I literally just support who's got the greatest talent and who honestly goes right. goes to my eye. And people were upset with me. Well, not lots, but there was a few people like, "Oh, well, if Josova was Canadian, you would like her." Uh, not true. Maybe you should watch some videos. Maybe you how should watch that? last year's videos and see how much we love some of the Russian skaters. Yeah, okay. So, now that he ruined my gig. Ow! <laughs> okay, that means it's over. Okay, so anyways, you guys, those are our picks, and we want to hear yours if you can. It's kind of Wednesday today, so tomorrow it starts, so I don't know. Maybe we'll see a few, but who knows. Let's find out. Um, Usually I win these type of things because I go with, like, the honesty of the sport, and... Ryan goes kind of like that. Well, if I can just take the one that's from six to get the first, I'll take it. I like, I like, but it doesn't work like story. that. But this isn't like hockey. Do you scary. think Hubble and Donnie have a chance for a medal? I don't really personally like them. Honestly, anymore. I find I, them boring. I sorry, I don't think they can do it this year. Their program to me is not like they are getting overscored too. I'm like okay. Here's the problem in figure scene that I that I'm gonna tell you that is different from other sports. I'm like, you know, I'm a big sports guy, so figure skating really goes by names. So yeah. meaning, you know, like in sports where it's like if you have the NBA or the NFL or the NHL, and there's the logo in front, and then there's the name in the back, right? So in order, let's take like the best hockey player in the world. Like, right? <clears throat> say you want to take a Sidney Crosby, you know, he's a Pittsburgh Penguin logo, Crosby on the back. Now, in figure skating, they don't really have, you know, a logo, but they have the country, yeah, and but they have a name. So, the problem is, in figure skating, they look at that name, and they just give them, you know, right. well, you know, it's this and that, so, oh, they let's get excited, and they the give them the benefit of the doubt too much, uh, instead of going, you know what, maybe they're just not having a good year. You know what, maybe this just isn't a good program, right. they're not really up to par. Maybe other people who you don't know their names of yet are actually getting closer yeah. and better and they're looking a little worse. That's the problem with the judging and the ISU and figure right. skating. Too much of looking at the name and not too much honesty right. of the actual program and the actual artist, meaning figure skater, out there. I performing. will agree with that and I'm going to just add something onto that. Um, I'm super impressed with the ice dance this year. There has been a lot of movement in ice dance this year that we don't normally see. Example, Gillis and Poirier have beaten Hubble and Donahue in the free dance. That's never really happened before. Chalk and Bates are coming, climbing up that, that ladder again. Great Britons, Fear and Gibson are coming on. They won a like uh, medal bro. this year. How amazing is that for them? There's teams coming up and teams is being scored. Is that the bold one? Yes. Love and teams it. being uh, scored. Uh, more properly, so I am really happy with that. With Ice Dance, that there's there's movement. Typically, it's first place in the sh in the rhythm, and first place in the second place, and second place, third place, and third place, fourth place, and fourth place. And this year, it hasn't been like that. This year, we have seen a first place drop to a third, or a fourth place come up in medal, or vice vice versa. But anyways, that is our Grand Prix final recap, and we will see you after the Grand Prix final in Torino. When it happens, wins. I hope. Bye. Bye.